this prize has been created to um, give to an artist who has helped jazz going forward while still retaining a large audience in the true fashion of Miles Davis. Mr. Al Miola, please, will you accept the Miles Davis Award? I'll tell you, it's a bit heavy. <laughs> Thank you very much. Wow, very honored. When I was going to Berkeley School of Music back in uh, the early 70s, uh, we went to see Miles play a lot at uh, Paul's Mall or the Jazz Workshop, these tiny little clubs downstairs yeah. uh, off of Boston Street. So uh, I hadn't met him then, but you know, I had memories of seeing him quite often. And I was just yeah. sitting back there thinking about this, and you and I have spoken about when Chick had heard about you and right. auditioned you. And, and I got a call from Chick personally at, uh, at Berkeley while I was attending the school. And uh, he said, man, I heard your tape, man, I'm knocked out. And I said, who is this? Come on, <laughs> <laughs> who's on the phone, who is this? He said, this is Chick. I said, wow, really, you liked it? I not only like it, I want you to join the band. When can you be in New York? But before I got there, he told me, uh, it's the first shows at Carnegie Hall, like in a few days. And I'll never forget going to Berkeley, uh, Berkeley going to Bergenfield, New Jersey, knocking on the screen door and telling my parents I'm home from, from school. I said, what are you doing home so soon? I'm, I'm, playing, Ber I'm playing Carnegie Hall on Tuesday night. He said, yeah, right, you're sure you are. And that's how it began. Yeah. Oh, Thanks he, for being here, Mr. Thanks for having me again. All right. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.